Hey you guys, Big Joe behind the camera here, and I'm back with another episode of Story Time Saturday. That's right, Story Time Saturday. And this goes back to 1995, so about 20 years ago. Um, as you know, uh, I'm a big fan of the pro wrestling. Yeah, I know it's predetermined and everything, but goes back to 1995 through 1998 so 95 96 97 98 um, every January for the World Wrestling Entertainment formerly the World Wrestling Federation they have their annual event known as the Royal Rumble which is a bunch of regular matches and the real kind of main event for it is the 30 man over the top rope battle royal 1 and 2 start off every 60 seconds to 2 minutes another guy comes out until all 30 have entered to be eliminated you have to go over the top rope and have both feet touch the floor in 95 I remember it's 13 years old uh, and I made a bet with a friend, you know, friendly bet, and I tell her, hey, I bet you this year Shawn Michaels will win the Royal Rumble. And she goes, oh, no, that's a load of crap. She's like, I'll, you know, go with the British Bulldog. And I was like, how much you want to bet, you know, like, she was okay, at lunchtime, she was like a can of soda from the soda machine or whatever, or the juice machine at school, whatever, you know, friendly bet like that. And the pay-per-view goes on, and the matches go through. And they go, you hear the announcement, let's find out who drew number one for the 1995 Royal Rumble. And then Shawn Michaels' music goes off, and I'm thinking to myself, ah, oh, freaking, frick on a stick, I'm screwed. Then, number two, they go, let's find out who drew number two. And you hear the uh, British Bulldogs music and I'm like yes she's just as screwed as I am if I ain't winning sure as hell she ain't winning and the match goes on and the comes the final two left are Shawn Michaels and the British Bulldog one and two who started it are the ones who finished it and turns out that Shawn Michaels would win it from the number one spot I was like, yes, 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 before the whole Daniel Bryant, yes, moving 20 years before, so, um, that's cool, and 96, um, I was like, okay, Shawn Michaels won it the year before, I said, you know, let me be a little ballsy here and call Shawn Michaels to win 96, comes out, throws a later number, I think you get like 17, 18 around there, ooh, excuse me, midway, a little bit past the midway point of 15, so, comes out, wins the Rumble again. It's like, yes, two years in a row. Um, 97, um, of course he was in the title match against Sid, so, of course, you know, he couldn't do go for the three-peat. So, one of my other favorite wrestlers for, came over from WCW, Stone Cold Steve Austin, who I remember as Stunning Steve um, was in the Rumble. I thought, you know what, he's going to win it. He draws an early number. I'm like, oh crap, not this again. But he works his way through. Gets eliminated, but the referees don't see it. Comes back in and wins the Royal Rumble. I was like, yes. 98. Same thing again. I'm like, Stone Cold's winning it. Stone Cold's winning it. Stone Cold's winning it. I don't remember what number he drew in 98, but it comes down to that he had won the Royal Rumble that year as well. So, 95, 96, I called Shawn Michaels going back to back to win the Rumbles. And then Stone Cold, 97, 98. So, excuse me, that's my story time Saturday for today. From the age of 13, 14, 15, and 16. I called Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold to win back-to-back -back and back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles. So, peace, rate, hate, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think. Peace.